Oh, that's gonna be the money shot. Hello, welcome to day 32. Day 32 of the Here to Hear comedy tour. We're here to here in Syracuse, New York, and it's a frigid fall day. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Justin's shaking over there. But what better thing to do on a beautiful, frigid, chilly autumn day than go uh, looking for pumpkins? So we're here at the Pumpkin Hollow, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna have a, oh wait, never mind, it's closed. I looked it up on Google, it said open today, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I rounded up the team, I said, we're going pumpkin picking. Google lied to me. You know, you think you can trust somebody? Google. I trust them with all my heart. You love Google? I do. I love Google. Google lied to me. So we'll go figure something else out, but it's beautiful. I wanna go in there. Very disappointing. We'll go find another patch, hopefully. Okay, we found another one. No need to panic. We're gonna get some pumpkins. We're gonna carve them up real good. That sounded kind of murderous. We're gonna make jack-o'-lanterns. That's what we're gonna do. I think a $3 pumpkin is the sweet spot. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Ooh, yeah. Could carve this guy up real good. Are you gonna name it? I tend to, I have a rule where I don't like to name things that I'm going to carve up. Kind of just me trying to avoid sociopathic tendencies, you know what I mean? You know, one time my, uh, my sister, my two nieces, the first time they ever cooked lobster, they put them on the floor and they put the elastics around their claws or whatever, but she let my two nieces name them and play with them right before they dipped them into boiling hot water and ate them. <laughs> that is so cool. I've never seen a cat with extra toes before. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's going to be the money shot. <laughs> right now, we are carving pumpkins. We're doing it outside because it looks nice out here, but it's a little bit cold. But we're braving it in the sake of beautiful cinematography. You doing a cat? What are you doing, Justin? I don't know yet. I didn't see the designs. Oh, you're going to do a stencil? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna try to go my own way on this one. I'm gonna give him hearing aids for sure. That's all I know. A jack, a deaf jack-o'-lantern. We moved inside. Too cold out there. No need to be heroes. You guys want to make it a competition? Who has the nicest one at the end? Not time related. Have Mike judge it. He'll be a harsh judge too. He'll be honest. He did the monster man. Setting up the candles. And now we're gonna have Mike come in and judge who he thinks made the best jack-o'-lantern. So this is Justin over here trying to curry favor with the judge by carving an RV. This is me in the middle here with the heart of hearing ghoul with the hearing edge there. And this is Jill inspired by the beautiful kitten we saw this morning uh, with the well-carved precise cat right there. So we're gonna call Mike in now and we're gonna see who carved the best jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one is this one first. Ooh, he's going with the cat number one. Cat number one, and then I'm, it's between these two, I think those are, both of those to me are right on the same level. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Well, good cool. competition, everybody. Thanks. Jill is the winner. She Justin, the blue great showing. The hmm? best in show. Best yeah. yeah. Best in show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Mic check done. I'm yeah. just going to keep it at this height the whole show and just bend down like that, if that's cool. How's everyone doing tonight? I'll just tell everyone for the vlog here that we're at SUNY Cortland right now. I'm going to stay hunched like this the whole time. Thank you. Oh, three water bottles. How you guys doing? Oh, thank you so much. How you guys doing? You feeling good? Still pretty tepid? I'm not going to do it a third time. Don't make me do it a third time. Only women were allowed into this show tonight? Cool. I'm glad they listened to my request. Uh, I'm glad the men are here too. Let's be honest. We need some diversity in this world. Men, women. There you are. Everything in between. Keep it going for your interpreters here, everybody. Dee, Catherine, this is amazing. An accessible show for everybody involved. 
This is great. What a great show. What a great turnout. I feel really good about everybody coming here, despite the fact that I know you're getting a credit for this, right? No. You're not getting a credit? No. You're just here for fun? I see you. Oh, nice. You came to see me? That's great. Yeah. Thank you. You guys still get your credit if you leave early, or...? <laughs> I hope not. I want you here the whole time. If we could lock the doors, please, that would be great. <laughs> How many people are in the Speech Path program here? <laughs> Whoa! You guys got like a well-known speech pathology program here then? And you only allow women into it, or...? <laughs> How many are he people here are men that are in the Speech Path no. program here? No. Not a single one? There's like three. There's, There's like three. There. Oh, they're not here. You keep tabs on where they are at all times. <laughs> where the hell are those three guys? Bunch of women running around, three guys just in heaven. Yeah, yeah, I really want to help people too. Yeah, that's why we're all here. Anyway, what are you doing on Friday? Let's talk about helping people. Thank you very much, Suni. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Thank you. How it was on America's Got Talent. Yeah. I remember watching. My mom and I like started watching when you were on. Really? Yeah. And That's we, like, cool. Got into it because of you. Nice. So yeah. It was, cool. It was fun. Yeah. Is that why? So you knew it was me when you came out tonight oh, yeah. from? Oh, yeah. cool. When we, because I'm the president of NISHLA, which is the National Student Speech Language Hearing Association. Oh. And we collaborated with the Student Activities Board for this event. Oh. So when they reached out and said that you were coming, I was like, yes, oh my God, I know who he is. So. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. We watched your Col no. your uh, Colin <laughs> special. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, as soon as you said, yeah, I'm the hearing aid guy, I was like, I tapped on the shoulder, I was like, here it comes. I love this <laughs> 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 nice, cool, man. That makes me feel good. Thank you. As opposed to like, oh, here it comes. This right, part, like I've heard yeah. This before, but like, you're, it's so good. Cool, man. Thank it's you. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Oh, hey. Wow. What a show, SUNY Cortland. You guys were absolutely phenomenal. Thanks for packing the joint. Just a super fun show. And uh, now we only have three days left. Tomorrow we're doing Halloween in New York City. That's going to be amazing. Check out that vlog. And uh, once again, SUNY Cortland, thank you so much. See you tomorrow, everybody. Hey, did you like what you saw? Then you should probably hit here to subscribe or here to watch the next video or right here for a random video.